Today I've got some old hard disks I've been collecting and I'm going to tear them apart and take some pieces out of them. I'll do the usual disclaimer that there's parts inside that can be sharp, glass, some things inside here are toxic, so if you don't know, don't do it. But uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff inside there you can reclaim. Some of the tools you need are various sized Torx and oftentimes some small screwdrivers. As a quick side note, most of these drives, even these little tiny ones, have pretty much the same components, the magnets, the discs, uh, the aluminum casings, all that stuff. You'll probably need a different size set of Torx to, to work with them, but again, the same interesting components. Okay, let me start tearing into these. To save time, I've already started removing some screws, but you can get a lot of stainless steel screws. This one has, what, six, seven screws to remove the cover like this and here are the good parts the other side of this uh, the electronic circuit board not very interesting uh, you know something to recycle but this is the good side I've taken out all but one of these torque screws holding down the hard disk and they can put them in there with a lot of force again some nice screws um, some nice metal parts. These are non-corrosive. Some rings, uh, chromium steel rings, and the platters underneath here. These platters can be made out of glass, so be careful with them. Uh, they're also covered with materials that are toxic, so don't go scraping around on it, rubbing on it, rubbing on it, whatever. And if you do get rid of them, dispose of them correctly. I've been trying to make them into capacitors because two of these plates when held really close together are perfect for crystal radios so I'm trying to figure out how to make them uh, move them together and separate them very nicely with some kind of a screw mechanism okay let's move over to this side and take a look here's one of the good bits underneath here is a really strong magnet that controls the head I'll take this off off camera, but there's a couple screws. There's a couple over here, a couple here. I think there's one back here I can't see. Uh, there's this release arm. So let me go do that. I'll be right back. Now I've removed the main screws out of this, but one of the things is this magnet is really powerful, and you probably can't get it out of there just by pulling this out with your fingers. You have to uh, pull it out with a screwdriver, so... There's one of the interesting pieces. That's a super strong magnet. Here is the head. I don't usually do much with the head. You can see there's another magnet underneath the head we'll go after. But, uh, yeah. So I'm going to have to remove the head. And then there's a couple more screws in here that I'm going to have to remove. Uh, I may have to go to the bottom. I'm not sure on this model of hard disk. I may have to go to the bottom to loosen some screws to get all this out of here. But... To get the disc out of here, one of the things you have to do is remove the swing arm, and to free the swing arm up, you have to release this catch. They have different types, but they're typically over here on this side, and you just move it out of the way, and then the head will swing out of the way, and that will help remove the disc. The swing arm is held down by a flathead type screw, so I can remove that. That out of there, it's hung up on the disc, but you can see that there's the arm and the screw, and it's held down by a cable. Here's that other magnet we were talking about right there. So, another good target of something to remove. The disc will come out of here now, but I will uh, hold that off for a second until I get the magnet out. Uh, lifting that magnet out of there. So there's another one of the goodies. See if I can take the disc out. There we go. There's the disc. So another interesting thing. I have taken the motors out of here. Mostly I don't. Um, I had a collection of many of them and never did anything with them. But, uh, yeah, and uh, I'll just keep going. I mean, I'll keep stripping the screws out of here. The screws are valuable. The circuit board again is not, you know, very interesting. 
Uh, you can get a pile of stainless steel screws, some little stainless steel parts, uh, these mounting rings, uh, the disc, but my favorite are the magnets by far because they're super strong. Warning on the magnets, if you get, well I've had two of them uh, come together right here on the web of my hand and literally just crush right through the skin and cut me and leave me bleeding. So, yeah, use precautions with strong magnets. And if you're into recycling, you've got three basic types of stuff to recycle out of a drive. The circuit board, uh, this heavy aluminum stuff, and then steel parts. Okay, well that was it for today. Hope you find it useful and interesting in your home electronics projects.